All right, guys, if you've been watching uh, my channel, you know it's a collection of different interests and all that I have and different things that I've worked on and uh, share these videos sometimes as a reminder to me of how to do something, but also just to share with you things I've learned. And here's an old Acer H340 that I bought back in approximately, I think, 2009, and Acer sold a lot of these. This is my third video. Uh, today, I just thought I'd put out a final video related to my installation of Synology's DSM on the old Acer uh, 340. In earlier videos, I showed you how you could resurrect this and use Windows. Uh, also, I uh, created Ubuntu, a Linux version. And today's video is about installing Synology's DSM. It's the same process, pretty much. You're gonna need a boot stick. So I've taken a USB drive, created a boot stick here I started out with one physical hard disk, uh, and uh, I had to walk through the, the, the process basically of installation. So I have it now installed, running, uh, and I'll take you around and show you the, the front end of the operation. Okay, now I'm on the client side, and you can see my uh, H340 uh, running uh, DSM. Uh, with Synology's kernel, uh, it loaded, uh, and it's a healthy system. And any of you familiar with DSM and Synology knows this familiar screen. So it is installed uh, and it's running fine. I have my applications. Uh, just anyway, mainly this is giving you options that's available if you still happen to have the old uh, Acer laying around like I did. Uh, they are still usable. You can load Windows for sure. I've tested Windows 10 now, the pro version. And the home version will work too. Linux, Ubuntu works, and now Synology's. And so pull them out, dust off the, the cobwebs. The limits on the H340 is two gig of memory, and I believe it's four terabyte drive, so a max of 16 terabyte in uh, storage capacity. Which system you want to use is your choice. Um, the one thing about the uh, DSM is you do have to uh, keep that boot stick uh, when you reboot. Uh, that's a requirement, but uh, Otherwise, they all seem to work very well. I did test and install the Plex uh, server and uh, did a little bit of work with it last night. So, but there you go. And uh, these are available if you're looking for an inexpensive way to create a NAS. There are some of these being sold on eBay. Uh, the old Acer H340, but I'm sure you could find any of those older home, Windows home server systems that were sold and I believe the Windows Home Server originally came out around 2003. I think the last version of it was around 2011. Uh, and some of you may still be running the old Windows Home Server before they uh, discontinued that. But, uh, but anyway, there's still options available. So hopefully this is helpful if you're looking for a way to create your little NAS for your own house or in your storage for your videos and files and so forth. Hopefully you enjoy the video and hopefully it's helpful. Thank you for watching.